Today we're talking about faculty learning communities. Parker Palmer, who's a social activist and an educator himself, has said that the growth of any craft depends on shared practice and honest dialogue among the people who are engaged in it. We grow by trial and error, and for sure our willingness to try and fail is limited when we're not supported by a community that encourages us to take risks. Uh, Ernest Boyer described actually colleges and universities as learning communities. He characterized them as purposeful, open, just, disciplined, caring, and celebrative. So faculty communities of learning are groups of faculty engaged in active collaborative programs who ask questions about teaching and learning, who try out teaching innovations, assess student learning, create new models, trial and error, and disseminate their work to others. We have a unique form of learning community in the National Academy of Osteopathic Medical Educators. Naomi is currently made up of educators from the osteopathic profession who have applied and by rigorous standards been accepted into categories of teaching and evaluation, educational leadership, educational research, and enduring educational materials. The rigor that I mentioned is uh, through a, a mini portfolio submission system, it's judged against preordained standards. Uh, fellows, as we call them, are members for five years with possible renewal. And the academy is active. They are active at their local level as educational experts. They're active at the national level in mentoring future Naomi fellows, in ACOM education grant review, in national educational presentations, and as a think tank at times for the Board of Deans in educational questions and issues. What's the future? Perhaps education white papers, uh, perhaps consultants, maybe editors for medical education journals. A national mentoring program is something that, that the current fellows are very interested in. And what are the benefits? Well, current fellows collaborate with one another on issues of importance in medical education. They generate really innovative new ideas. They model best practices both at their schools and nationally. When we asked the fellows how Naomi benefits medical education, they said, and these are their quotes, by providing a forum in collaboration with SOM for ardent educational leaders to exchange best practices and cultivate scholastic innovations, by bringing together educators with our future DOs and their potential patients in mind, by setting a standard for exemplary osteopathic medical educators, and by bringing together the best medical educators to learn and inspire each other. It also benefits medical education by recognizing scholars engaged in medical education, by promoting and developing a cadre of people who are interested, dedicated to devoting their time to uh, the educational climate for the, our students being the best that it can be, and by bringing together some of the best and brightest minds involved in osteopathic medical education to strengthen the educational process. How does Naomi enhance the learning of fellows? Remember, this is a learning community. Uh, by sharing ideas and empowering community, by encouraging the maintenance of excellence in osteopathic medical education, by encouraging uh, each other to stretch toward improvement by challenging each other with new and different ideas and by stimulating dialogue on nationally recognized uh, important issues and by nationally recognized academic leaders. It causes fellows to think about what they do, why they do it, why things are important, what's the best for the future of medical education. And finally, when we ask fellows what they love most about Naomi Fellowship, some of the quotes are, I love interacting with a group of some of the most bright and gracious, helpful medical educators in the world with whom I have much in common so that I can better myself and my students and all those with whom I come into contact. I love the collegiality, the friendship, knowing there's a group of people that share a common interest with me in medical education. I hope that you will consider joining Naomi, looking into uh, the possibility of being part of this cadre of medical educators. Uh, if not, 
perhaps forming faculty learning communities at your local school. In either case, we're all working together to better student learning, medical education, and the future of patient care.